But when you buy a car and it fits in the box of your truck, you know you're dealing with something old and something that has a lot of wood in it. So that part sucks. But anyways, I bought a 28 Pontiac. So you can see there's really not a lot of structure here. But it is a sedan. <laughs> if you can guess, it's hard to tell. Uh, it came with the frame. It's got a Dodge axle in the back. And it's kind of retrofitted a Dodge axle into the front. So that's kind of cool. So at least it has like juice brakes all around. I mean, it's missing the bits. Uh, but the plan for this one is really all I want to do is, well, I'm going to slam a motor in it. I think I have like a Chevy six cylinder that I took out of a truck, some uh, one of these trucks I did. So I might throw that in there, hobble this thing together. Like, I don't know. It's not something I want to finish. I basically want to see where I go with this, but I want to get her together. So the doors open, close. Get it to run up and down the driveway, and then maybe kind of do a good start and then maybe flip it. But uh, yeah, for now, I'm gonna go through all the pieces and uh, see what I all got here. So it came with all the fenders. I'm not 100% that I'm gonna run them. Uh, I think I'm gonna go open wheel with the car. We'll see, that could change. Um, also scored a few other things. Like this is a Dodge window. So I kinda have some of that car sitting by the pond. So if I can collect some parts, that'd be great. Um, scored a few random bits. So these are like, well, these are cool. Uh, just like window cranks and, you know, always junk somebody needs. A bunch of tail lights. There's some lenses for them as well, so that's a win. I don't know what these are. Probably Dodge or something. But they're cool. It's a nice shifter. E brake. Or it could be a shifter, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, we got those and these. I'm just gonna put this stuff in storage for right now. As you can tell, this is probably a pretty big project. And I'm not gonna do this one right to the end, but I definitely won't mind daddling around with it. So these old Pontiacs and Chevys, everything. That's why you don't see a lot of them. It's because they all had a lot of wood in them. So that's how everything was kind of held together. Like the door frame, the doors were all held with wood. That's why you see a lot of Fords done. But most of the bits are here. So here's the back panel. So uh, the one credit is I don't have the head, the brow. I do have this one post, so that's kind of a win. So I don't have that side, but at least I have one I can copy and make. So I gotta do, I need that, and then there's the header panel. <laughs> that and the header panel. And uh, yeah, we just about have a car. <laughs> but uh, my plan is, like I say, to get this together, I'll build a structure in there. To hold everything. I'm thinking of just channeling it a little down the body because it's kind of rusty in the bottom so maybe I'll just cut the bottom off and uh, I'm mixed on whether I'll put fenders on it yet but I do have them so maybe I'll use them and still leave it as a sedan. I'd like to leave it as a sedan I guess. Not like I want to put a lot of time or money in it and kind of the same. I want to pass that on to the next person. 
there still is a lot of stuff here. This I have to still organize and put in my shed. Uh, I have a few bits here and there. Uh, this is just a lot of LS junk, so I just wasn't feeling it and got to figure out where I want to put that in the shed yet. But uh, that'll free up a little bit of room around here. Oh, I did score this axle, which is kind of cool. I'm sure it's a Dodge axle. I'm just trying to, gonna have to try to figure out what fits on for uh, brakes and stuff. I have a Studebaker that I would love to make a gasser out of, and this thing might fit the ticket for it. Be kind of cool. An old tubed axle. Now, I'm pretty sure it's probably from a 30s Dodge or something like that, but either way, I wouldn't mind putting like disc brakes or something on it, but yeah, down the road, figure it out. Main part is I got the bits there, and I didn't want much drop. I wanted to keep that thing nosebleed. Four to six weeks later. Well, that one's uh, way back there. I need a little bit of a break from it. It's kind of annoying me. So, this fall I had bought this thing. I'm not sure why. Thinking in my head, I was, uh, yeah, I don't really know why I bought it. But anyways, it is a Chevy. So there's a lot of wood. And none of the bits have the wood anymore. <laughs> so I was just going to kind of stick it together. Sort of just make some lawn art. Um, I don't have the intention to build it. But I figure I'd break up my weekend here and mess around with this thing for a little while. And uh, I do have a chassis. Although I don't know if I have enough bits there to structurally put it onto the chassis. Um, but either way. I'm going to try to scab this sucker together and make it look like a car. Whether somebody just wants it as a yard art or to build it. As you can see in, in, in the, a thousand pieces, it's not very uh, desirable to a lot of people. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to make it look like a, like a sedan again. So I guess we'll get started here. So here's our dilemma with this car. This one was, uh, we got a belt line here, and then this would have been like my special coupe. There would have been probably, uh, like there was wood between here that kind of nailed the bits together, but we don't have that. So uh, nothing's really gonna line up. So what I'm probably gonna do first is I'll probably just find my doors. You can see there's no, there's no wood, no inner structure in here, so they're pretty flimsy. Uh, what a guy's gonna have to do is put some one by one steel or something like that in these. But anyways, um, what I'm going to do is I'll tack the doors on to get a rough idea what's supposed to be there. I'll tack it in, get these lines lined up here because that should be to with this part you see this if you can see this should be like that but we don't have this line up here after so I'll tack the doors on I'll kind of tack it all as one piece get the cowl this here tack everything together and then I can start on the top We'll kind of get it where it's supposed to sit. So, whatever, I'll show you. I'm gonna work from front to back. Tack it together so it looks like something. And, yeah. Well, I'll explain it better as I go.
So it's looking like a car now. Nothing a little bit of tack, tack welds and a bit of a little bit of time. Although the doors don't function. <laughs> but if somebody wanted something to sit out in front of the yard, this looks good already, right? Yeah. Thought there'd be a bigger gap where that belt line is, but I guess not. So, next step. I don't have anything for a window frame. I have this one post that I'm going to, uh, I have this single post, which is for this side of the car, but I don't have that one, but I do have this one. So I'm pretty much going to try to template this thing. Do a rough template. Remake this. This was kind of done in one piece by the looks of it. And it's probably going to be about three, four pieces when I'm done. Anywho. Yeah. I'm going to make that. So I have that on that side. Then I can have a header panel. And then, uh, yeah, we're getting a little closer. I have to go look at what other bits I had with the car. So I keep realizing, I keep calling this thing a Chevy, and I don't know why. It's actually a Pontiac. Um, the difference, I think it's got most of the same lines, but the Pontiac, I believe, has this. And then the brow is a little different. Anyways. Now that I got that cleared up, <laughs> let's, uh, let's build this post. So I put a bunch of bracing inside here because, well, I basically want to just set it on top of that chassis. Oh, that light's bad. I want to just set it on top of the chassis, just see what it looks like as a car again. Uh, completely temporary and I kind of screwed up this side. I got to break that weld and move this out. You can see it does some weird stuff here, but meh. So anyways, I'm going to try to shuffle it around, get it over on the hoist there so I can lift it up. Then I can kind of set it down, see what she looks like. Uh, plan is to channel it a little bit, I guess. But uh, yeah, let's get going. Well, it definitely is a tall car. <laughs> you can pull most of the springs out to get some lowness out of there. The front's a little, well, a little limited. I mean, it can go down. I think I could put a different axle, I guess, in it, but I don't know. It's odd, but it is what it is. If it had full fenders, it wouldn't be so bad. But yeah, she still needs Still needs a lot of love. But we'll give her about a weekend's worth of attention and see where we get here. Uh, ideally, I don't have very much. I Like I say, I use the conduit because I didn't have any square tubing. I have a little bit of one by one. I'm going to save it for somewhere in case I need it somewhere else yet. But um, yeah, we'll kind of keep plugging away at her. I have a six cylinder. Well, the one I took out of that 58, I'm thinking I'm going to mock that one up in here for the heck of it. And I also have a steering column that when I bought this car, they gave me and it looks like it's got the right push pull. So I think I'll mock that up right away here. Cause I think the body's about where it's supposed to be. looks like it. I don't know. I'm guessing this is the original frame for it, but it's got like a Dodge front and rear diff in it, but that's not a big deal. I could put a crazy block on it just to get her down. But 
eh, whatever. Not a big deal. If I have some fenders, I, I'll slam some on and make her looking like a car. Even if it is just yard art. At least it'll have a second chance at life, that's for sure. So this thing actually is looking pretty nice for the most part. I got a bunch of fenders with the car. I was kind of wanting to save them, but I think they should go with the car. Because I think the little bit of effort I put is going to be a good start for somebody on this car. Um, this one fender is pretty mangled, but I don't think it'll take too much to bang it out. I think uh, just a light step here and there should fix it up. Little gentle persuasion. <laughs> I think she needs a little more than that. Let's get it out in the driveway and massage it in the dirt there a bit. I think I can get it out. That's pretty good for a start. All right, other than the weirdness of the hood there because the, uh, well, I still have to massage this fender out a little better. <laughs> it's on there, but everything's kind of mangled a little bit. Actually, everything's pretty rough, but this hood's uh, kind of seized down the middle, so. This is the wrong grill. I gotta get in contact with the guy I bought this from. He's supposed to have the proper grill for this yet. But, I guess you go to this side, which is the nicer side, which is pretty good, considering that's the side a, a feller has to walk up to anyways. <laughs> She's a little tall, a little tall, I'll little admit. But, pretty much looks like a car. That's kind of a win. Um, I dropped this. I said I was going to muck around with this, but then I ended up screwing around with other things today. But, uh... Yeah, I guess now it's, now I gotta make one of these. This is supposed to sit in here. However it does its business. I need another one of those and then build a header panel. It's supposed to be a visor from what I've seen. Spot welder up a little more. I don't know if I'll put the motor in it. I just think it's a nice, 
a nice piece for somebody now to do whatever the heck they want. Okay, pulled the front clip off. Or I should say the front. I'm still trying to pickle up these uh, hood hinges to get them to work good. So, I'll still muck around with that for a little while. The, uh, I'll have to make some quick body mounts, although it looks like there's something there, just so I can bolt that sucker down. Inside here, I'll probably just do some tabs or just bolt the back down onto that cross member, just so she doesn't want to go anywhere. I've kicked this side out a little bit because it was off. So I'm gonna do zap this inner door brace again just to hold stuff in place. And right now I'm going to go get my cardboard uh, CAD so I can fold this thing. Try to make this shape. I think I got a meat on here that I can do it. So, let's get that going. Damn it. So I have to make this in two pieces. Okay. So, these are my bendy bits and stuff like that. This is this side. It's a little thick. I gotta reverse this. So I'm gonna try to see if I can break all of this stuff at one time. Eh, somehow I know I'm gonna screw it up, but I think I can do it. That said, that goes on here, but I need to reverse all of these little bends and kinks. So, what I'm going to do, and I'm sure I'll screw this up, but... I've got a feeling this one isn't going to work. Dang it! Dang it. That's the hardest break to do. I definitely didn't do it right. I'll try. Oh, it's 
screw it. I'm just gonna cut it, that's just easier. That's the plan. Okay, so it didn't work as one piece, so I'm kind of, uh, I'm making it as a multi-piece. So this one's gotta go to here. This thing's actually gotta sit flush on here, and that'll give me close to what I had going on here, so. I'll just use this as a template, just so I have something to reference to tack this to. First chunk, part one, part whatever. Okay, so we got that going. Now I gotta do this piece. We know this does this funky bend. We know this needs to bend. Right here, and we know this needs to bend right there. That's part one of that. So, and that's got to be on the opposite side. So, let's do these first. We'll put this to the brake. It's not exactly a 90. I'll do that and I'll be right back. So this was pretty straightforward. This was just two bends. Gets me this shape. So now, because I couldn't make that whole bendy bit, I pretty much just got to scab this into there. <laughs> I don't remember how I built stuff. Okay, well, I didn't even build this, but I go there to there. I think this one needs to do this. So I'll do that. Help it along here. Okay, we got a plan. Sort of looks like it. I think this top needs to be indented, but eh, we'll work with it. Alright, I think I got her to see. So that piece sits in there. Looks a little different, but it's pretty much it. Well, that's not too shabby. It's not perfect, but nothing on this car is, so. So, because we got that where there would have been wood and stuff in there. But it fits up the post, so that's, 
that's this one's fine. I think it has to go down a little bit, same as the other side. This one goes in. Kind of does a little bit of an overlap, like it needs some trimming and fitting here. It's not quite tight into this gap, but I don't know. I don't have a lot of time into it, so a guy can monkey around with it for however long they want, but this needs to be fully welded and then you can kind of schmooze it around. But uh, yeah, I see here there must have been some kind of a header panel. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm just going to measure across, see that it's square. Like I don't know if this window flipped out. This almost looks like they maybe just slid into a channel or did something. Like some of the Chrysler products, I guess. But uh, yeah, let's see if I have, or I'll just run a bar across or something. Or I'll just make something up. There's nothing there, so. I need to put something across just so it looks like something. So, I'm gonna rummage around, see if I can find something, make something work. Okay, so in a short amount of time, we kinda made it look like a car. It's probably good for lawn art, but uh, regardless. Still got to try to get that grill, so I want to have the original grill to go with it. Uh, I don't know if I'll make running boards or not, but at least somebody looking at the car can uh, see some potential out of this thing. Even though it still needs like a million hours of work, but... Um, still do a little bit tomorrow. I'm going to bolt the cab down where I can bolt it down. I'll leave all this structure inside because it's kind of holding the car together. Um, I'm not going to bother making the header panel, but... At least everything's held together, tacked in place now. Uh, it's supposed to be a visor, but like this thing is not perfect, but it's better than the nothing that it had, so that's a win. Um, I still want to smooth this fender out some more, so I'll probably just power hammer that thing out and bang out that thing a little bit. So yeah, slowly but surely. But I think that's what'll call her for tonight. Uh, tomorrow I'll daddle with it for a little more. Kind of got a little something out of my system. I'll do a little more work on that thing I think tomorrow night. Oh just a nice November day. <laughs> All right Sunday. Let's muck around with this some more. How much mucking around we're gonna do I'm not sure yet but let's uh Let's smooth this vendor out a little more. She's pretty rough. So, let's fire up the compressor. I'm gonna get my hammer. I want to straighten that panel out a little bit more and I'm just gonna do this fender bit. And then I'll probably pickle that hood a little more. See if I can get the hinges loose on her. So what I'm using is, uh, I don't know what this is, this is an old school, like a, a power hammer. But 
yeah, you can set your tension on here. You know, your air. Got this from a buddy of mine. You got your die, so essentially you put this into the panel. This goes down and this pretty much is uh, me hammering on this fender for, you know, a half hour. But really I've only put five minutes or so into it. She's, uh, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than that squished mess that it was. And for what I want out of it, this is plenty. Plenty. So I don't think I have any wood. If I have wood, I'll actually just make some running boards, but... Um, again, I don't think I'm actually going to put the motor in here. I'm just going to bolt the body down with what I have here. And, uh, well, if somebody wants the car as a project, perfect. Till then, it'll probably just sit around here as some yard art. But, uh, yeah, like I say, I was just going to give her my, my weekend's best here. Between all my goofing around and everything else I'm doing. But, uh, she looks like a car. I'm gonna go see if I have, I have an old Model A grill, I think, that'll fill the front nice. I've messaged the fella that I bought the car from, so I'm gonna see if he has the uh, um, actual grill for the car. So it'd be nice to put in there. But for now, I think that's where I'm gonna leave her. Again, I'm gonna go see if I have some wood for these fenders. So I say I'm gonna leave it, but I'm still gonna muck around a little bit this morning with it. And uh, yeah. Okay, so till I get my grill, this is pretty much how she is. I'm gonna dust a little bit of paint on that pillar. Um, yeah, let's throw it outside. See what it looks like outside. Clearly, after I got the grill, <laughs> the uh, rad I use doesn't work very good with it. But either way, she looks the part now. It's kind of just sitting at the end of the pond here is a lawn art for now. <clears throat> we'll either advertise it or do something later. I think she looks pretty cool though. Looks better than it did as a pile of parts. And if somebody wanted a project, at least, you know, they got an idea what it's supposed to look like. So yeah, there we go. Well, I guess that'll do it for this one. Thank you guys for checking her out. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>